Bjorn and I were both at the annual neuroscience graduate program retreat last fall um, at a seminar, and we happened to be sitting next to each other for a minute. We didn't know each other, we were very new. And we got to talking about our research and realized that there was potential for interesting overlap. Her interest was actually in cell type of all gastrocytes. And so it's a specialized type of neural cell that here and I both have interests in. I, from a uh, brain cancer perspective, and here from a neurophysiology uh, perspective. So that was sort of the shared connection. I care about all the cells in the brain, but I study a cell type in the brain called the astrocyte that people have tended to not care about for a long time. They thought they were just kind of boring cells that clean up after the neurons, which is what they believe that most neuroscientists care about. Um, but in the last, say, in the last decade or so, people have realized that this cell um, is actually very important for the basic workings of the brain and how um, information is contributed. I'm interested in the cell types that Kira was talking about from a brain cancer perspective. So how do they become brain cancer cells? They are called gliomas. And what we realize is actually that in, in humans, there's lots of differences between these astrocytes and other species. So some of these other model systems that people have been using aren't probably very good in, in, in studying the development of these tumors and also to develop treatments for those types of tumors. And that's why here and I thought by developing this new system, we could learn more about these cells and also develop better to understand how these tumors um, develop and also how to treat them. What led you to apply for the grant? So I guess we both got this email announcement, and we had thought about you know applying for brain money together on this project. And we saw it, and we both immediately said, "Okay, this is like literally perfect because it combines brain cancer and neuropsychiatric questions, and that's exactly what we did." Because we had been thinking about how a project we could work on together, and that would be. Um, specific to both of our labs, but then thinking about this grant, it made us really think more widely about how the the technology we were thinking about um, proposing or working on could be beneficial to a, a broad range of brain cancer and to a lot of different neurobiological questions, both cancer and disease. Like, yeah. Very excited about this grant opportunity. It's perfect for what we want to do. It's bold. It's basic. We'll see what's going to come out of it, but you know, we're extremely excited about this. We have high hopes. Yeah.